kicking stuff. I got dumped in here. I'll take it. Yep. Wires. Yeah, that's gonna have to all get processed. Yeah, because there's some good copper in there. Bleach in that. Good morning. Welcome to the Scrap and Pallet Man channel. We're going to try to find some stuff on the curb or in a dumpster, something like that. And our journey is going to start right now. Do you guys like my uh, Scrap and Pallet Man beanie hat? I, I'm, I don't think a lot of people call them beanies. I, I always did growing up. Whoa. Yeah, you know, and a viewer sent that to me. I've had a, a few things made for me um, by viewers. So, you know, I am definitely art driven. I'm not money driven, if you can't really tell. <laughs> but I'm definitely craft, art, creation driven. You know, and I don't know. It's just how I'm wired. What is this? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. Oh, that's not written there. See that glass right there? Yeah. I got jabbed one time. This is my, I don't know, my first 10 videos of this channel. Of, of scrapping at all. Yep, didn't have any gloves on. I didn't see that. I just reached in and it like stopped my hand. Yeah, that definitely didn't make it onto. That's messed up. Definitely didn't make it onto the video. So I'm driving through this neighborhood looking for garbage, and I see a Parasaurolophus dinosaur. Yep. Seriously, who puts a Parasaurolophus right there? That is beyond cool. <laughs> Seriously? What's up, Mr. Parasaurolophus? Actually, I think he has one or two too many hands <laughs> or digits on his hand. Parasaurolophus, yep. Really, that's awesome. My favorite is the uh, pterosaurs, even though they're not considered dinosaurs. You know, the, the flying creatures, the biggest thing that's ever flown. Beyond cool. Uh -oh. <laughs> Just sitting here in this neighborhood. Uh, wow. Can you picture actually that like yeah, pretty wild? <laughs> if we knew everything that's happened in this world. There wouldn't be enough books and enough space for all the books. That's for sure. Parasaurolophus. All right, let's get back to scrapping. <laughs> enough messing around. That was beyond cool seeing that dinosaur. I've never seen that ever in my life. I did not know it was there. I just have to be driving us. <laughs> Look over to the right, I'm like, what is that? That's wild. Yeah, if, I do watch scrapping channels and stuff, but by far I watch nature channels on YouTube, and especially PBS Eons. If you haven't watched that, it's only about a one-year-old channel or so, but they put in some really good information. This is where the Spirit Halloween dumpsters were, but that was a temporary gig. Nothing. 
Hello, Nemesis. All right, I need to get in front of Nemesis if I can. That's right. Before he goes and gets my scrap. What do we have here? You know what? I need one of these. I was totally thinking about that for to put my shoes on in my house. So I get my floor all wet. A toolbox. Is that what that is? Or is it, what is this? Craftsman. Yeah, it is a toolbox. No, I'll take it. I don't think it's broken. Let's see how quick I can do this. Oh, garbage man's been here. Man. Right, looks like the guy is throwing away some of his shop backs. It's almost like the one I have. I think I saw two. Yep, there's two of them. Huh. Oh, someone's already cut the cord. Bing. Huh. Hmm. What is this? Steel. They're drumsticks. Tell if that's two chairs or if it's it's a huge one. All right. Yeah, I think my scrapyard is actually closed today. The one that's right next to my house. So I might be hanging on to this. Uh oh. Free toys and Legos. Hmm. Wow. That is a lot of Legos. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? I've never seen this many Legos in my life. Holy moly. What do you do with this many Legos? Makeup issues, or is that a scar? That's a scar. All right. What's this broken toy. Should I just take the whole thing? See, you know, I think that's cool. Yeah. A little Humvee <laughs> ambulance. <laughs> What do you think? Legos? It's here like that. Alright, I'm gonna take the scrap here. Get a bigger mess. Yep, let's take these Legos. If I can grab the whole bin. I don't want these these things though. Legos. I don't know what to do with it. Is there trash in here as well? Inspirational music as we're scrapping. <laughs> That's kind of cool. All right, let's get rid of the garbage. Yes. Uh, 
Look at all those Legos. Wow. What are you? Yeah, and those garbage men, they are on the prowl right now. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Hmm. What is that? Uh, yeah, the garbage in here. Is that a Cabbage Patch Kid? I don't know. Okay. Thanks, folks. Oh, I see a cord. So grab this whole, that's all mostly plastic. Okay, yeah, definitely some some Legos, that's for sure. Wow. Is that an oven? Yeah, it's my favorite kind of scrap. Put it back in the truck, take it to the scrapyard, throw it on the pile. Yeah, I just want to say thanks for, I got two, what is this? Crayons. I need that. I got two PayPal tips. You guys are awesome. Two $10 ones. So I appreciate y'all's, yeah, totally. And a couple of videos ago, we're talking about um, volunteering our time. Some great, great comments. If you get a chance, go back a couple of videos. There must have been, I don't know, 300 comments on the video. I don't know, maybe more. And it was about what people do, how, how we, us, you and me, how we volunteer our time and what we do to give back to our community to our to our group and uh, it was amazing to read that so if you get a chance take a look at that um <laughs> so awesome oh yeah this my friends is my kind of jackpot that's right oh yeah Now, what am I gonna do with those Legos? Can I fit that? Can I fit that in my front seat? Oh, I don't know. Huh, that's gonna be tough.
Okay, so short story is that this would not fit in the front. And, but this stuff does fit. So I put this a vertical, do a little rearranging. Yeah. Like the longest alleyway. I think I saw a chair over here somewhere. It's destined for the landfill. That's now gonna get melted down and turned into something else. I balance the chair. I can. Right, what else is over here? Yeah, and that's me clean and sober. That's right. The only drugs I take is one pill for gout. And sometimes Excedrin. <laughs> yeah. I just get excited about scrap. Makes me want to balance things on my nose. <laughs> All right, this is close. Garbage man, scrap. <sighs> Definitely some good scrap right here. Wow. Oh! No! That's some, definitely some good scrap. All right, where are you going? I'm feeling the heat. Definitely feeling the heat. That's the real garbage man too. That's no recycle dude. Look at that frame. That's an old frame too. Why are you sticking together? Uh-oh. Hey, good morning. Yes, sir. I'll take it. Yes. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Oh, no right on. Uh, any particular spot? Um, yeah, any spot. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. So it doesn't hit the window. Thanks, man. No problem. So how you guys doing with the with the transition from uh, the old company to you guys? Yeah. Is it all working out? Oh, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, Cool man, right on. You are uh, YouTube? Yeah, yeah. Do you really? Yeah, I am. Yeah, so probably about a year I've been doing, I've been doing YouTube, YouTube for um, it's called Scrap and Pallet Man. So Get out of here. Yeah, yeah. You're the Scrap and Pallet Man? Yeah. No. Have you heard of it? Yeah. Yeah. I swear to God. Yeah, it's me. Okay. I'm Paul. Paul, I'm Ryan. All nice right, Ryan. You. Yeah, man. So yeah, just throw stuff in the back here, run around. Okay. Yeah. And then you do you do, do uh, the DeKalb uh, metal? Over yeah, there? DeKalb iron metal is my usually my number one. Okay. Then Sycamore, and then sometimes I go to Zimmerman's. Okay. So yeah. I've seen Zimmerman's. I didn't know if I would, yeah. I'd be able to take anything, but cool. I, I normally find copper, and I'll take it there. Yeah. Can I? Can you subscribe to me? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Let me get you my card too. He's gonna subscribe to me. That's awesome. Let me get him my business card in case he sees a pile of scrap. I'm hesitant to throw too many people on the uh, the list, but uh... yeah, no, I, I agree. So here's my information. So if you see a big pile of scrap, you know that, and I'm not sure how it works with you guys. You know, if you just if you automatically have to throw a big pile of metal in your in the landfill or whatever. There you go, scrap and pallet man, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, if you go to um... yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah. Hi, right, Ryan. Thanks. I'll let you get going, man. Thank you very all right. much. It's nice talking to you. To you but, yeah, good it's all good, man. Yeah, you too, man. Have a good one. Thank yeah, you don't man. get in trouble for talking with a scrap and pallet, man. No. Yeah. That's all right, man. Hi, this is Paul reporting for WSPM that I'm live right outside of DeKalb Iron and Metal where allegedly they're letting their employees enjoy this Thanksgiving weekend and they're closed on this Black Friday. Kudos to DeKalb Iron and Metal. All right, so I'm at my house. 
and that's definitely a Schwinn. So I'm going to take this off of the vehicle before I run to Sycamore, because Sycamore's, I just called Sycamore and they are open. i got fuzzies all over my camera. Um, so he took a look at these Legos and he said that uh, it's okay that I donate them because he has a lot of Legos and he's kind of grown out of it. So I'm going to drop off the scrap. Well, get that off the bicycle. Drop off the scrap in Sycamore. Take these over to the Salvation Army. And I think that will do it. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to take a picture of these and send it to my bicycle buddy. Even though bicycle guy said he was only interested in 80s and 90s BMX bikes. But he restores things. So he might like that. B&O Scrapper is right around the corner. Ooh, that's yucky fun. Extra yucky. But this cord isn't. Yep. All right, let's see how much we weigh. I'm going to guess 4,000... 60. 4,080. Ah. Alright, pretty close. already took a look at this. So. Be as free as the mountain. That's a scrap right there. Like the tree. Rush like the river.
3780. All right, 37, 38, 39, 40, 80. So a little bit less than 300, I think. My math is correct. Coffee. Good morning. Hi. 1066. All right, so I got 18 bucks, but check out this scrap load. That's what I'm talking about. Wow. That's awesome. Let's try to avoid that hole. That trailer is maxed. Oh, he's doing non-ferris first. That's awesome. Yeah, 18 bucks. Thanks, God. Ha. You are so good. All right, so we're going to donate that. This is keep. This, I don't know if it's keep or I'm not sure yet. Should I just take the donation up there? Yeah. All right. Just sit on that table. Yes, sir. On the outside. You got it. Yep, thank you. Salvation Army is right there. I just dropped off those toys. Ta-da! It's a Paul-sized dumpster. Yes. Sounds good to me. Get in my truck. What's that? That's steel or aluminum. It's steel. Oh my. There's a scrap load here. corner. These guys. Is there copper in each one of these? Okay. So how am I going to get that unhooked? Put a screw. That's aluminum. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Totally aluminum. A head lab of some sort. cables. I bet these would be good for shipping. Good old Paul sized dumpster. And stuff. I think I dumped in here. Uh, 
I'll take it. Yep. Wires. Yeah, that's gonna have to all get processed. Yeah, because there's some good copper in there. Bleach in that. You think there's a surprise in here? Like an extra awesome something? Maybe. Yep, I think maybe. Postal tape? I don't know what the whole bunch of priority something. Oh, straight up steel, my favorite. Those are drumsticks. Wire. What are those? I guess it's metal. That's a nice pot. Yeah, I'm looking for a hard hat. Is that like a Big enough for my big old head. Hey, I could use that for my property. Yeah, I like that one. Hard hat with some ice in it. So it's been here for a while. I was all done scrapping too. I was ready to call it a day. Is that all that is? Oh, are they stickers? Yeah, they're just stickers. I don't need any stickers. Cues. <laughs> Not even straight. Nah, they ain't. Oh, yeah, tips gone. Scrap the dumpster itself. Another one. That's a short one. It's a lot of bulbs.
open. Where's a little tool when I need it? I can hear stuff in there. There we go. Now open. Open says me. What a morning, woo! So it's 11.27 a.m. on Black Friday. I'm done scrapping, done with that dumpster. I got a bunch of stuff that I need to process. Um, but I wanna get this video out, so I'm not sure how long it'll take. It usually takes about two to three hours, sometimes a little bit longer, for me to edit the footage. And then it takes about two hours for it to render, which makes, it's the computer putting all the clips together um, and then I upload it to YouTube which can take anywhere from one to three hours um, and then I make the thumbnail and and title and description um, so so it's 11:30 a.m. right now and I'm hoping to have the video out by 6 or 7 p.m. sometimes it goes quicker um, but there was a lot of stuff today so this was a lot of jamming yeah but, you know, I, I still just want to praise God that uh, he's given me the ability um, to to do this. Um, yeah, so first and foremost, I just want to praise God. Yeah, and I'm going to go, actually, before I get started, I'm going to go uh, talk with the kids, see how they're doing, check in with them, you know, just making sure everything's okay. Yeah, how are you guys doing? You guys okay? Chicken in on you? <laughs> All right. Thank you, Lord, just for allowing us to, to, to pray all the time, that we're always in connection with you. Let us just constantly increase our conscious contact with you, just like that 11th step, praying only for the knowledge of your will for my life, and God, for you to give me the power to carry it out, for you to give us the power to carry that out. What is your will for us, God? And they're all each their individual missions that you have us on. Yeah. We need your help just to just to clarify it for us. Please, Lord. Amen.